extra mana that we got from the power stones. I mean, ultimate, Karn ultimate against the chat with the top 600. Time your ultimate. <laughs> It's absolutely amazing. Oh my god, what's going on? Hello everyone, it's Love here and this will be a really epic video. First of all, you will see double ultimate, Tamiyo ultimates, while Karn ultimates. <laughs> oh man, it was super epic. Like, I, I guarantee you that this video has some cool games that you probably don't want to miss. We also went full loop with Shigeki and Sky Turtle, countering spells every single turn without drawing any new cards. That was absolutely epic. Like, man, if you like control, watch the videos. Like, we made so many things happen. All right, and about the deck. This is band control. We have seen it so many times, so we will just focus on the new stuff. Karn. Why Karn? Because we have Bang Busters. Don't forget, Power Stones can be used to, use, uh, to play channel abilities as well. And the best part. Look at this. Shigeki has channel ability, right? And every two Power Stones give you two, one extra card. Okay, one extra card for every two Power Stones. And when you keep the loop every single turn, that can add up very, very quickly. This is why we have Karn, and also apparently it can ultimate. Uh, one of the reasons is also Tamiyo, because she can be played for five loyalty, minus four, and then you get another Karn. And Karn, after Power Stones, you can just use it for minus one, and you will see it in the videos today. You can just trade him to cards, like a Bangbuster, basically. You can draw four cards with this guy for four for mana and the other plan for the full deck is for farewell we don't play a lot of the populate only one so generally our game plan is to start the game we also look at the removal we don't have one <laughs> it's weird i know but we have only one march and our removal is wandering emperor and how do we start until six mana joint exploration ramps you and Sunset Reverie, four of them. This means that you will never die to aggro. Okay, maybe not never, but it's really hard to die to aggro. And you will see in one of the games, like, we are so pressured by all the haste creatures. We don't care. We just play Reverie after Reverie and then sweep. <laughs> I really like how this deck plays out. Uh, it, it is much more fluid than I thought it will be. And the card was absolutely nice. And it, it feels a bit weird mid game or early game, but when you could get into the six mana and you have so many options to get there, like the game can be a real breeze from there on. Of course, mana base as usual. So, with that being said, if you enjoy new cool decks, because I don't have the early access account, so <laughs> it's, it's harsh, you know, but we are really trying to make something fresh. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment. It really helps, especially in this time, because uh, as a content creator, it's rough when you just don't have the new stuff and others do. So if you can support, that would be really appreciated. And with that being said, let's go into the video for the most epic controls games ever. All right, guys, we need to defend our rank. We cannot win and we cannot lose. <laughs> what about the end? The opponent goes first. Uh, it's kind... It's bad. It's bad, but we'll take it because we have some early game plays. Uh, on the draw, make this appear much worse, but oh, he's not happy about the mulligan. So it's probably Gruul Agro, just trying to smork us into Oblivion. Let's play this one, we don't need green for now, so this will suffice. And this will be turn two and those then, then they will be activated. But that's definitely not perfect. I did not expect the enchantment, so... Let's prepare for vomiting of value, <laughs> basically. He can play three cards. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, he knows we don't have instants that react to stuff. Like, I mean, we are just countering whatever at this point. It will be hard. I'm not exactly sure what the game plan is. Oh, and we got too many bangbusters. I mean, we should probably do this. Uh, there is a chance he will just go for the uh, Circle of Confinement, Barrowed, whatever. This is really good card. It helps him get enchantments and stuff. This deck doesn't really have like instants, so those tokens will be very useful at some point during the game. 
we don't need to jump block 3, we need to jump block 12 or something that, that will come. Uh, it will be crazy and it will come. Alright, do we go for the power stone or Tamiya? I think it's power stone. Uh, like Karn will absorb a lot of damage I think during this game. He cannot attack with Weaver because then we double block it. So it means that he has 5 damage. I predict some kind of circle of confinement that will get doubled. So he plays, plays 1 white for the circle. Then with 1 green he doubles it with Weaver. And we have no board and he attacks for 5. I think that will be the turn. Alright, so... He tapped wrong. Oh, okay, okay, that's the play. I don't agree. He should tap double white and green should be for Weaver. And he should not attack with Weaver. Like, bro, you sure? Like, the deck is good, but it doesn't mean you need to, you know, play very bad with it. <laughs> like, I've been playing with this deck quite a lot. And this was a very bad turn on his part, in my opinion. And I really believe it. Alright, let's go for Fire Axiom mana. What can go wrong, right? <laughs> what could go wrong? Uh, we don't really get anything, but we can basically negate the Naturalis. There is a chance of Mishiko. This would be 3, 4, 5, 5. Harold Hunting, okay. Like, it's actually kinda okay. If we can get to Farewell, we absolutely can do it. And so far we are holding the Naturalis. It gives us two turns to dig into answers. Alright, nice. Ah, uh, yeah, it is a make disappear. The power stone is not extremely help helping, but it's still basically one extra land every turn. Yep. Like, we need to dig into farewell. That's kinda easy turn. <laughs> because we die later. And if we hit farewell and the land, uh, we just win the game. So this is, this is something we need to do. There is also a different approach. Touch of spirit realm. So he makes a dude. We can counter it, right? Because he wants to hit Tamio. We don't get to draw a card though. How important Tamio is. She's kinda important, but not the most. Yeah, there's nothing we can get back from the graveyard. There's an argument to just not counter it and just try to draw for a while. We have another Tamiya, you know? It's fine. Uh, he might go for the Banebuster, of course, but then we just draw. Alright, that's interesting. It also means we have more time with Tamiya. Yeah. Uh, very likely we should tap this one, even though it's smaller. We can get to 4. Alright, we definitely go like this. We don't have sweeper, no, because we could take it back. So let's start with this one. And I mean, we can draw quite a lot of cards. And we tap this one because they will grow and we can bounce the other one. So theoretically, we can absorb all the damage. One like big point of this whole play is that I want him attacking my planewalker and not my face. Every single turn, uh, when we draw, all right, let me think. Okay, I have fought. We, we cannot counter it because no creatures, so that's fine. Somehow... Oh, okay. Okay, I thought it, it untapped because I've seen two of them and suddenly there are two attacking. But yeah, this one is disabled and if he attack, So if he doesn't attack too much... Oh, that's an interesting attack. Really fits the bounce spell. So, in this situation, I think we just go for Silver Scrutiny, because it hits one more tar one more card. We have, I think, four farewells, right? So we definitely should already have one. It should be very, very close to the top. So we are hit by six damage. We could bounce this and negate part of the damage and save Tamiya. I don't think it's worth it. I think two cards is the only thing that matters. Like, look at this board. One for a while absolutely destroys everything. And then he has two cards against this. So, we absolutely will win the game then. 
Let's get one extra card compared to the Bangbuster. Told you. And it's not luck because we are one third of the deck binary and we have four of them so that like it was already super late so creatures enchantments and uh, gravers i don't really see the point honestly yeah Kam is the only one see ya <laughs> oh i like karn hi karn you are doing some god's work really well guys uh, the highs, you see band control and you don't play around for a while, like bro, come on, you are mythic, you should actually know how to play. Alright, farewell, so okay, this one uh, is basically what we should have gotten so far in the game, and yeah, let's keep drawing cards for free, I kinda like it. We could also channel, but you know, land drops, very important, and you know what, I think that Tamio is pretty sweet here. Because he does not have anything with haste, he has Michiko, so he can pump a lot of damage out of nowhere, but he needs a card that can attack, and he doesn't have it. Oh, he will be so salty after the second farewell. Guys, we, we did it again, we just won all of the games, <laughs> Oh, that feels great. Are we, are we going to ultimate Karn in top 600 Mythic? Oh, I hope we do. I really hope we do. So this one will grow. So let's tap this one now. And we can bounce it. Yeah, oh my god, we will draw so many cards. We will draw. <laughs> Alright, why am I doing this play? Because I want to make double ultimate with Tamio and Karn. Okay, that's the only reason I'm doing this stuff. When, when was the last time you've seen Karn ultimate in like top 600 mythic? I'm not sure if it even happened in the standard and we will definitely make it work. And he won't leave as long as he thinks that he has it, the chance. And he does not. Oh, he's going so all in. Oh, he will scoop. He will scoop after, after the turtle. <laughs> he has no mana. I mean, see an art. <laughs> oh, that feels glorious. Now let's keep drawing cards for zero mana. I heard that's good. Let's keep drawing three cards for extra mana that we got from the power stones. I mean, ultimate. Karn ultimate against a chat with the top 600. Tamio ultimate. <laughs> It's absolutely amazing. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, the best day of magic. So we can keep drawing for free. We should probably farewell, right? Yeah, like, I should farewell. Yeah, I should farewell. <laughs> I should farewell. <laughs> I should probably play it a bit differently. Don't worry, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And, I mean... That's it. We don't need more. <laughs> oh, it feels very, very good. I want my lands next turn. It's really important, even at this point. So we draw one card for free. He has not. Oh, he has naturalist. Feels bad, man. Oh, we can double ramp, guys. We can just joint exploration with kicker. Uh, sure, I will take this side definitely. And let's put this round. I don't need to cycle. And let's draw a card for free because of Karn. All oh, right, I have this thing that deals damage. I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I will, I will do the ping. I will do the ping. <laughs> All right. So this will be a pew pew turn as you deserve. Uh, first, let's draw, of course. Oh, man, we are doing it. So, I want to do this, one damage. Oh, it will take a while, but it is still glorious. I cannot believe that we are ulting in like high mythic and killing enchantments with power stones. <laughs> like, what the, the kind of junk we are doing on this channel and still winning games is absolutely crazy. And no pilot, so we can use the bankbuster. And that will be the treasure. Like, you know, it will take a moment. By the way, Karn here on duty to make more power stone pew pews. 
and let's just keep the counter spell and march because yeah <laughs> yeah that 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 felt really good it will take a while but we will ping him to death well top 500 all right this will be a hard hand we are on the draw as well so rubber is always a bit weaker than uh, we are definitely not cycling stuff so basically we are just waiting what he plays uh, it seems to be gruel I mean, this means a painland, right? We need to play something this turn, and I want to save the ram because we are having a lot of stuff right now. I mean, let's go for blue. <laughs> Why not, right? Nice. 23. 23 as a starter, and we basically match his board. Really? Does this mean a burn spell? It's fine. If he burns one of them, I'm fine with this. Maybe he just wanted this extra mana. It is still scary. Tovlar. And so this can flip. Man, we really don't want to flip stuff. Do we main phase exploration? Then he draws a card. Then we are forced into Emperor. But then we for war. The other scenario is to flip to nighttime and just use a Ganjo, but nah, I, I kind of don't like this. Uh, simply because uh, we want stuff. Counter Spell is abysmal here. Shigeki is nice, but not with so much pressure. All right, and let's go for, for this one. So we have balanced mana. Uh, we also, th 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 this is our second white actually. So yeah, we, we need this one for the Emperor next turn. I don't want to paint myself. This will be tricky as hell. The Populate is nice. He draws a card, but we reset the tempo and then we can start with the Emperor. I think this is the play. I think this is a really good play. Other... Nah, 5 damage is bad. Let's go for the Depopulate. Yeah, 1 damage is kinda okay. We're at 19 somehow. So yeah, uh, card-wise it's not perfect, but but tempo-wise it actually is. Tovlar, man, can you stop with the Tovlars, please? Like there should be limit to how many you have. Two for one. I play a lot of this stuff just to play main phase, so we don't get the you know the thing. I don't think they use graveyard at all. 2 for one is okay, because we drew another one. And now he needs to play something else, and then we probably can start doing the Emperor thing. What the hell is this card? Uh, is there damage? It deals that much damage. Oh, he can pump it. That's actually super annoying. Because we want to play Karn, but then he can just pump the mana. And that's not great. And if we minus Karn, we get the card, which is kinda okay. Oh man, we need to trade Karn. It is what it is. Our victory will come together. Whatever. So, let's just get this. I'm not loving it, but we need at least we can get some value. March is pretty good, maybe we need something main phase. Bankbuster is also great because it means that we can refill at some point. Um, not sure about this play, in all honesty. Maybe March was better. Uh, I, half of the game I'm playing just to not flip the night time because all of their cards are werewolves, so when you flip once, it's just so brutal. Yeah, so we just wanted to trade Karn for 3 HP basically and try to force a little bit more attacks i don't super care about my graveyard shigeki is at the bottom right yeah so we play like this this is main phase play yeah he should tap the pine land honestly i don't like this tap at all i don't think we get damaged but it's close so he exiles sorcerer it doesn't really help him, but if he exiles creature during the attack, uh, like what, you play more creatures, <laughs> I will gladly take it, you know? 
All right, this one has vigilance. That will be kind of scary. So do we get the... Yeah, this will be the Emperor. This will be absolutely the Emperor. Even if he does something, that's completely fine with me. And the fact that we get rid of this means that we have so much time. Like, exiling hurts a little bit. Yes, yes, good. 2 for 1. The classic 2 for 1. And with the Bane Buster, 3 damage a turn is not enough pressure. He needs to play more. Yep. And you can see that slowly, slowly but surely, we are grinding him. I'm a bit scared to use this one as well. We don't really have too much stuff. Uh, what is this? Uh, whenever attack, so the ability doesn't change, he just buffs. So this will be two extra damage and that's it. Two extra damage. Okay. So we will get two extra damage, I guess. It's fine. I'm a bit scared for the future, like this board can flip, but the future one, alright, that's that's absolutely fine. The more he plays, if he doesn't kill us during this turn, it's what, 9? 13 damage, that's quite a lot, but I think we can eat with for well uh, enough. That, that's, that's, a, that's a big decision right now, because if I take all of this damage, that's really, really close. We could also just play the Emperor and plus her. Yeah, I think this is the best play. But we can do it at the end step. If that's a burn spell, I don't want to minus the Emperor, but if that's any kind of creature, we can just play it. Minus one, block the Cementary Prowler, save our HP, but I think I will get back to 2-5. I'm actually fine with it. A bit risky, a bit risky, but with Emperor we can get back to 7. We just need to be careful about the payments. Alright, this is important. Right now she has 3 loyalty. There's stuff that can kill her, but not now. So after we did this, uh, it's already 4 loyalty when he can react. And that's a really good draw. And Lant is absolutely great as well. So we invested basically like 13 HP to get one extra card. So yeah, that's pretty good. I absolutely love it. And now we have the initiative. And now he will have some problems. Uh, we might draw March, but yeah, we can exile something for two. This is definitely the most annoying card in the world right now. Uh, I mean, Nearly nobody plays it, but I've seen this card twice in my life. All right, Tamio. Tamio is a big deal. This does not have trample. That's really important. So let's keep making samurais because we can outvalue her like this for Tamio. Yeah, this this is a pretty good play. So definitely, let's play like this. We are going for the full Tanya. This way we can get back the car. Like man, we are definitely doing some work here. And now we have Karn. Uh, do I draw cards? In all honesty we should. We really should. Let's just keep drawing cards. Very very cheaply. Uh, I will pay one. This one. And I'm drawing card. So he will keep attacking, but we are drawing so, so many cards every single turn. So he loses this race. Sooner or later. We do not attack. It's night time, but like we can probably flip it at some point. Alright, the loner. No haste though. That's really important. So we need to flip into daytime next turn, because we need to get rid of the Hexproof on the Avenger. Uh, let's block with this one. Easy 10 damage. This this Werewolf is absolutely annoying. I think we still win, but it will be so annoying. Oh, you control is dealt? Okay, I should read the other part as well. So what he kills? Emperor. That's fine, we have another one. I didn't know about uh, the fact that 
when he flips, the ability gets basically uh, transpired to everyone. We definitely draw with the Bangbuster right now. Atawara. Not sure if, how good it is. And Joint Exploration is kinda mana efficient. So we will take it. We will take it. Because we saved this one extra mana thanks to this. Farewell. Nice. We won the game. Man, that was close. <laughs> that was really interesting. And Tamiyo into Karn. Look at this. This is basically Tamiyo value. It's absolutely insane. And this will set up the game for the basically rest of the game, however it sounds. So let's go for one. Creatures. Bye. See ya. Nice. Cool. And let's start doing stuff right now. Uh, we cannot... Okay, so if we play like this... We can activate the Emperor. It means that we want the Power Stone tokens. Even though they don't seem extremely useful right now, uh, they will be at some point. And I really want the Emperor this turn. And we need it to farewell. Look at this guy, just from the freaking top. The easiest top deck of his life. That's absolutely fine. You know what? This one is more expensive so let's go with this one we can use power stones i guess to tap it yeah and as you can see at some point you will get the bangbuster and the power stones will start being useful and i think this is the time to flip so let's just flip the game is over but he just does not realize it yet maybe after second bangbuster he will so we are triple spelling right now. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So we make more power stones because all of them can be extremely nicely used. And we keep passing the Tamiyo. We are still keeping the Emperor, so whatever he draws it won't change anything. And we are drawing three cards a turn. So he cannot really keep up with this. And we even flipped into the daytime. Nice. Like, I mean, that's probably good. Oh man, it feels so good! <laughs> uh, yeah, he really wants to flip, probably. Let's keep making the power stones. At this point, I'm absolutely fine with the situation. Uh, let's tap this one. Uh, we make Sunset Reverend first, because we, we get the dudes then. And we'll cast the Emperor at the end step. Because this will be tapped, so we don't really need to do anything. I guess we could flip tonight daytime, but I just don't think it's worth it. I think, like, not sure why he's here. I guess he really believes that he can beat the three planewalkers. But, you know, like, we can give him a shot. He's definitely drawing some nice cards. Maybe he has more Ava Brook. That's something we need to definitely consider. So we will ultimate the Karn. All right. Free card with the power stones. Not so free card with no power stones and the card. <laughs> oh, but we will dig to this Shigeki at some point and dissipate. And so, do we have permanent for three? Not really. So, let's go for the plus one, basically. From the next turn, we will hit for so, so much that it's not even funny. And let's make this dude a bit stronger, shall we? I mean, let's go like this. Uh, he has high creatures, so you know, let's be responsible. From next turn onwards, we will have so much. I guess I could use this one and attack with this Bang Buster, but it's up. Oh my god, the rank. That the, definitely shows that our deck is a beast. All right, we are going first. This is a weird hand, but we have a lot of options, even for two mana. And of course our mana is pretty decent. So we will see, we will see. We might go into Sunset Reverie. We have the Painland, so we can go up to... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so now I know exactly what to do. Say go, because make this appear will definitely hit something. Even if he's a mastermind, he still wants to play something right now. Perfect. Nice. And yeah, not sure about the next one. I think it might be Shigeki. I want the full value, you know. 
Let's go Shigagi. This will be kinda annoying, it means that it absorbs the hit. Or a lightning strike. But lightning strike is two mana, so we don't really lose much. Phoenix Cheek. Like if he doesn't have any direct damage, we basically block Kumano for free. And when we get to Sunset Reverie, man, th this is commitment. Like he's tapped out, you know, nothing will happen. I guess he can play land, right? That's a thing. All right, all right, all right. We could get into Shigeki. So we block this, we try to hit the land. Like, there is a chance for for while this game. So, you know what? I do not mind it. Like, having additional land is such a big deal. It will be hard to draw cards with this. That's true, that's true. And the tokens won't really block the cheeks. But so far, it's kind of okay. Alright, let's see the haste. It will be Stormseeker indeed. Well, that's kind of scary, but with Sunset Reverse we should be able to do a lot of stuff. We can actually make a 4-4 in total. Alright, so we can block this one. No Tramper. That's kind of big deal. It's 3 damage saved. Uh, that's a land. Still scary, but we just need 2 land drops. This is not one of them, that's for sure. I will keep, keep Shigeking until we hopefully win the game. And now we can trade with whatever has 3 toughness. Uh, I don't think this will be a good idea, but it gives us a little bit of time, basically. Man, the mana screw is pretty brutal. Alright, so we double block the Squee, I think. Okay, and the Ron. So they are absolutely tapped out. Hmm. We definitely want to kill stuff, that's for sure. I think this is the play. We have a little bit more time, so the token is the big deal. They cannot recast. Yeah, I like the trade. Like, we get a lot of damage, but we have time. All we need is to hit two lands this game. <laughs> Will, are we good at magic enough? I mean, that's a land. That's definitely a land. Alright, so let's go like this, I guess. Alright, so the Ronin. It's also reinforced for some reason. <laughs> but, okay, looking at the picture, like I see some key differences between the standard Ronin and this one. So I guess he is reinforced. Hammerhand. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really, really strong one. I guess we go into full charm block mode. That's why it's, she, he should uh, target Shigeki, of course. Yeah, so for this reason we don't really get the block and I probably after he attacks we check if we get the land, that's a big deal. And if we do we just jump block everything. Alright, let's see, can we hit? Are we good at magic? Of course, oh man, <laughs> those were for a while and the populate, that's pretty funny. Uh, the running would be Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. wait a second. Oh, yes. Do you feel it? <laughs> this is the only creature that would normally come back into his uh, hand. So now we cast Farewell and we are kind of happy. That's why we are Farewell deck. I mean, I like the board much more right now. <laughs> oh, yes, that feels really good. Can we end up? It's still not over, like, they they have so much damage with haste. Alright, Firebrand. We have another Farewell, but we need to do stuff. Uh, we weren't able to counter this one. I mean, they can play land and domain, right? Yeah, this will cost 4 and red, so they can do it. They can do it. It will be 5 damage to my face. It's not perfect. I will do this first. I mean, this is kind of okay, you know? Yeah, if they domain, that's pretty good. It also means... Is it Shigeki? Not really, right? Yeah, I like this. I like this. 
Also, we didn't flip to nighttime, which might be very relevant. And this is the domain mana. So the point is to bait him into using it. Shivan Devastator. All right. Now we know everything, basically. So we counter this one. We bounce this one, because now he's out of mana, right? Really? Oh, this doesn't give blue. Well, I guess that's true. And we probably just Shigeki everything, right? This has no haste. So this is our turn to just go full Shigeki. Just not Reckless Stormseeker. This is the only card you just don't want to have, you know? Because we just flip to nighttime. Sure, this one is absolutely fine. And if there's anything else without the haste, that's absolutely fine. Hammer hands. Oh. Oh, we are so winning this one. <laughs> All right, no pain. One, two, three. Shigek. Yeah, that feels really good. Uh, one, two, and you know what? Three. I think we have it all, basically. And land is absolutely great, of course. And now we dissipate whatever happens. Easy game. Man, that was, <laughs> that was tricky. Not gonna lie. And we have double blue, so... Uh, whatever he draws, we just counter it, and from the next turn onwards, we use the Bangbuster. We can also get back the Shigeki. Uh, we can channel a Dance Step, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's get back the Shigeki. And the loop officially is on. We are playing Everland. We are just so, so ahead right now. Yeah, if he casts something, we just dissipate, and this loop means infinite value. <laughs> Forever. Now Shigeki. Go oh he will scoop when he understands what's going on. And now we get stuff back. So I hope you draw more than one card to turn. <laughs> oh that feels so good. We are going for the Bankbuster. Because we will probably draw other cards. So every dead draw is basically good game and every not dead draw. It's basically a good game, because now we dissipate, and now we can start drawing a lot of cards. But of course, let's go channel, and <laughs> it's actually so fun. We just made the machine to keep countering every single turn, whatever he does. Uh, Sunset, yeah, I like all those cards. They are very, very good cards. I love them. And yeah, let's say go. One card cannot burn us. Shivan Devastator is probably the closest, but we just channel this, get back the dis Dissipate. Well, he's drawing pretty well. I mean, let's channel. And one, two, so this is channel, right? One, two, two cards, all right? So this one and this one. I will gladly take them both. And I heard Dissipate is good. <laughs> oh, it feels so great to just keep countering every single turn, whatever he does. Like, at some point he will draw a land, and then we just uh, use all the card draw that we have. So Bangbuster into Exploration. But right now, we can do every single turn the same stuff. Infinite Counter Engine. Full Lockdown.